Farmer and NBA superstar Steph Curry announcing the launch of the Curry brand. In addition to being a footwear and apparel line, Curry brand is also working to provide opportunities for youth sports in under-resourced communities. This launch comes seven years after Under Armour first signed Curry back in 2013. The stock is down 20 percent since that time. Under Armour CEO Patrick Frist joins us now for a first on CNBC interview to talk about the Curry brand. Welcome back, Patrick. Good to see you. Thank you, Sarah. Great to be here. So across categories, across sneakers, apparel, it sounds a lot like the Jordan brand. Is that the model here? No, I think what we've tried to do here, and I think what Stefan and, and Andro are really excited about is the fact that we're creating a, a brand for, for good here. And I think the uh, big difference is it's not just about product, it's also about giving back, giving the consumer a chance to participate. And for Stefan to do something that he's been wanting to do for a long time, which is impact youth and participation in sport, which is also what Under Armour is trying to do. So this is really about both brands combining their values and, uh, and, and doing some good at the same time. Sure, but, but you're also trying to grow Under Armour and, of course, look for, for new opportunities, Patrick. I, I guess my question is, why didn't you do this a few years ago when, when Curry was winning championships and MVP titles? You've had the relationship for so long. Why now? Well, I think it's a combination both of, of Under Armour, you know, maturing more as a brand together with Stefan. And, you know, Stefan has been wanting to do this. We started talking about this about two years ago or, or a little bit more than that. And uh, it's been maturing. And I think this year especially, there's been more time for Stefan to dedicate a little bit of extra time to this effort. And as we've been working on it, uh, it matured, and we felt that now was the perfect time, right before the season starts this year. And, you know, this is something that we're building on for the future. There's a big commitment here from, from uh, Under Armour and from Curry to really impact uh, youth sports. You know, we're looking to impact about 100,000 kids until 2025. And, and uh, you know, if you want to do that, you got to get going. And we believe that by starting in 2021 and putting a great program uh, together that's not just about product, it's also about places and about people. It's about training coaches. It's about getting spaces uh, for kids. And it's about putting programs together that can actually educate both the coaches and the kids. So it's, it goes beyond. It goes beyond just product and business. What, Patrick, qualifies a, a sportsman or sportswoman from being someone who you want to be associated with as a brand via typical sponsorship uh, to being someone that you want part of the brand uh, themselves. Is it quality on, on, on their field of, uh, of play? How many sports people around the world could, could reach that level? I think there are very few that have the, the kind of appeal that Stefan has. And again, like Sarah said, Wilfred, you know, we've been with Stefan for a very long time. And what we've found over that time is that our values align so well together. And if you want to go out there and do something today, I think you've got to do something that is just beyond just the uh, shirts and shoes business. And we feel that, as I said, by combining a purpose uh, with the product, um, you know, impacting kids. And, and, you know, one of the big problems that we see today is the fact that so few kids have access to sports. You know, there's only about a 22% participation in low-income families today in sports. And you know, this whole COVID pandemic has certainly made that even more difficult. So we're trying to team up here with, with Stefan and do our part um, and change the game for good. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.